James Hope's Rainbow Falls is so large you almost feel like you can step right into it. Once inside, you feel like you can touch the rocky faces to your right and left as you get splashed by falling water. You can continue up the stream, stepping over the falls, climbing the rocks until you disappear into the pine trees beyond. Hope's painting has tremendous depth and invites the viewer right in. For being one of the largest paintings in the Minnesota Marine Art Museum's collection, Rainbow Falls is incredibly intimate. How did Hope achieve this? In Rainbow Falls, Hope used a technique called linear perspective. This technique is used to represent three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional surface in a way that looks realistic by creating an illusion of space and depth. Converging lines and vanishing points, which make objects appear smaller the further they are from the viewer, creates an optical illusion of depth on a flat canvas. The artist will create a point, or an implied point, at which all parallel lines meet. Take a look at Rainbow Falls again. Where is your eye naturally drawn? Hope's intention was to draw your eye towards the light at the center of the painting. This point is the vanishing point the point where all lines meet. The lines created by the edges of the rocky faces from below, the sides, and above lead directly to this vanishing point. By doing this, Hope created a woodland scene into which you are invited. James Hope may not be an everyday name to the average art enthusiast, but he led an interesting life and was a prolific painter. Hope was a talented portrait artist and as a young man taught drawing and painting at Castleton Seminary in Vermont. Later, he developed his skills as a landscape painter, which was seen as a more prestigious subject matter in the mid-19th century. In the early 1850s, Hope opened a studio in New York to paint and market his work in the winter, returning to Vermont in the summers to be with his family. While in New York, Hope adopted the characteristics of the Hudson River School as he was acquainted with Frederick Church, Sanford Gifford, and Albert Bierstead. All of these artists have work on display in the Minnesota Marine Art Museum's Hudson River School collection. The Civil War marked a dramatic pause in Hope's painting career. Wrapped up in the patriotism of the day, he joined the 2nd Vermont Infantry, where he was elected a captain of Company B. Hope resigned his commission in late 1862 due to ill health but the sketches he made during his service became the basis for many paintings of the Civil War. Most famous are a series of panoramic paintings now housed at Antietam National Battlefield, a bloody battle in which he was a participant. After the war, Hope built a studio in the tourist town of Watkins Glen, New York, where he lived out the rest of his life painting scenes of the environment around him, including the large-scale Rainbow Falls before you.